For this factoring problem, we will begin by taking out the GCF, the greatest common factor, which is a 4. This reduces the trinomial, and now we will go ahead and uh, note that the negative sign there means that we will need a positive and a negative side inside of the binomials. Now we need to factor the 14 and see which pair will produce a 13. And we can see that 14 and 1 have a difference of 13. So those will be the ones we use. Now we have two, a decision to make. It can either be this version or it can be this factored version. The way we determine is by looking at the sign of the 13 in the trinomial. And because of that, we need the negative sign. Yep, we need the negative sign to be with the bigger term, the 14. So that's the final factored version.